Can you smell that? It's schedule release season. My Philadelphia Eagles fans, we are one step closer to the 2024-2025 NFL season where we'll hopefully bring home another one of those Lombardis. You guys know my name is Dalton. I'm from 302 Birds. Bring in today for you guys my 2024-2025 schedule release prediction for our Eagles. 1.0 version 1, whatever you want to call it. But I actually think that the Eagles are set up pretty good this year. I think a lot of fans are overreacting to this schedule. I think the Eagles have some pretty good momentum going into the playoffs. Seriously. So let's kick it off. Going to Brazil week one. Overall, I'm not a fan of this because, let's be honest, for Eagles fans, it counts as a home game. So I know for season ticket holders, damn well, your plane ticket isn't bought. Your hotel room isn't paid for. I don't know about your ticket being paid for. I don't think it's paid for. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but I don't think it's paid for. So it's costing season ticket holders money. Eagles will go down there and end up winning, though. I mean, the Eagles fan base travels so well. Shout out to Philly Sports Trips. If you guys don't give them a fall, travel with them. I know that they're putting together an awesome traveling package to go to Brazil. But, I mean, overall, I think it's going to be a good game between Jalen Hurts and Jordan Love. I think it's going to be two of the best young talents in the NFL. The thing that makes me nurses nervous is what could happen off the field. That's what makes me nervous. This whole green uniform band that they have at the stadium. And then the NFL brings two, I think, of the grittiest fan bases in the NFL that folks wear green. So the Packers can't wear their home uniforms. We can't wear our home, so we're both going to have to wear our alternates. Eagles will wear black, Packers will wear white. But you know that fans are going to be scattered in wearing Kelly green, wearing the Packers green. I don't like that. It's almost like the NFL is looking to set up something, in my opinion. That's a conspiracy theory for another day. But I do think that the Eagles will win. A.J. Brown will have a big game. Eagles will win a close game in Brazil, 31-26, to on a Friday game, too which will be very interesting, but not a fan of the whole home game aspect. I believe that the Jaguars game as well was a home game for the Eagles, which not the best thing. Falcons at home, Monday night football, prime time Kirk Cousins. Obviously, give me a win. A little bit nervous if the Eagles don't game plan for Michael Penix Jr. The Falcons also have a pretty good receiving core in Kyle Pitts, Drake London, they also have a couple other guys that I know I'm drawing a blank on, but they're an underrated team. Bijan Robinson, that offense is, is better than people give it credit for. So it will determine the ass whooping I literally have written down in my notes for if Kirk Cousins plays, but it's primetime Kirk. So I expect the Eagles to walk away with that win. Not much else to say. 35-22 is my prediction for the Eagles beating down the Falcons. Moving on to week three. Eagles are 2-0 and going into it according to the Dalt prediction. And uh, we're going to NOLA, going to the New Orleans Saints, and I think it should be an easy win. This should be one of the games for the Eagles. I think that they win by 30 points, 25 points, and just go off. I'm talking a 40-50 burger. The Saints are not a good team. Their offense is okay, I guess you could say. Their defense, I don't really know any players on their defense at all. So I, I think that the Eagles should pummel the Saints. The Saints are not a good team. The NFC South as a whole is not a good division. So I got the Eagles beating the Saints 41-17 to is actually my prediction. And uh, they, they're they a gritty team, but I think that the Eagles should win. The one player I'm afraid of, and I will give credit on the Saints, is Alvin Kamara. Moving along now to Tampa, the revenge game. Not only for our Philadelphia Eagles in the playoffs last year, it's a revenge game for Devin White. Devin White used to play for this team. They didn't want to bring him back. Going away to Tampa Bay is going to be a good thing for the Philadelphia Eagles. I think it's going to give Jalen Hurts a chip on his shoulder. He lost there in the playoffs now twice, I believe, to Tom Brady once, and then this year to Baker Mayfield. So going there to play there, he he has a lot of vengeance. I think he's 0-2 there, if I'm not mistaken. So. Chip on his shoulder for real. If he did beat, you know, the Buccaneers there or win a game there, I apologize. Maybe in college. I don't know. Raymond James Stadium. 
But I'm going to say that the Eagles win this game. It could be the game of the year, in my opinion. The Buccaneers are a better team than people give them credit for. I have the Eagles winning, though, 37-31, to 31, advancing to 4-0, and oh, going into the bye week, which a lot of people are complaining about, overreacting to. Don't really understand that. I get it. Week 5 is a little bit early, but I think that that's a little bit of a cop-out, in my opinion. The Eagles are so good of a team next year that it shouldn't matter when our bye week is. They should find a way to win. There's too much talent on this team to make excuses for them like that. So when Eagles fans are saying that and already making excuses for a team that hasn't even stepped on the field yet, it kind of upsets me. It kind of gets under my skin. Um, I'm just being honest with you guys. And, and I hear your point, too. You're not all wrong. It's just... You have to understand there are expectations for this team at some point when you have a top three player at every position on your offense. And undoubtedly, I would say at least one top 10 player on each level of that defense had a hell of a draft. I'm not making excuses for this team. So the week five by I'm not the biggest fan of, I'll say, but I think a lot of the fans are overreacting to Browns at home. After the bye, after two away games, first Monday night football primetime tailgate of the year. Uh huh. I'll be there. A lot of people will be there. It's going to be a big win. Uh, Eagles, I got 33 13. Cleveland fans travel well. I think that, unfortunately, I don't even want to say this, but I do think that there could be people making some friends in the parking lot. I'll leave it at that. But I think that the Eagles should win. I think that the Browns are just a absolute dumpster fire of a franchise right now. Politically, on the field, operationally, morally, everything as a whole. The Browns have no direction. They haven't had any direction. They've been a catastrophe. There you go. That was the word that I had on the tip of my tongue. But a real catastrophe. So the Eagles should beat the brims off them. And like I said, first home Primetime tailgate, give me the birds all day. So that actually would give me the Eagles advancing now to a 5-0 and going into Week 7 uh, to MetLife Stadium to go play the Giants, which me and my boy KJ, hopefully broad, if there's any chance that you're watching this, I know my guy Chaos Chris and my guy Jack, I hope, will be meeting up with Jizzle. Yes, that's actually his name, Jizzle, our Giants fan, to go tailgate at MetLife. Should be a fun game. There's a lot at stake in this game. Saquon Barkley's revenge game. Eagles, uh, not really much at stake for them as a team because we just beat the brakes off the Giants. But Sa this is going to be Saquon Barkley's takeoff game. If I'm Nick Sirianni, I'm going to give the ball to Saquon Barkley a minimum of 25 times just to see what he can do. And did you guys see those uniforms today? Oh, oh my God. I thought our city connects were bad. There's no, I'm speechless. When, how often do I shut the fuck up? That's how ugly those uniforms are. I said earlier today in a video, it's like you took like one line of each thing in Madden. Like you had that one friend, shout out to my boy, Jack Dorden. He Seahawks were the most annoying to play with him because he would take like one 1970s thing and 1990s thing. Then he'd be taking a 2000s thing. Then he'd be taking a current Jersey. It's like, what are you doing, dude? This just makes no sense. It looks horrible, but hey, confidence is everything, right? So overall, I think that the Eagles will end up winning that Giants game. I do think that they'll split a game eventually with the Giants, which I'll get to. But on the road, I think that they're going to win this game. It's going to be a Massacre at the Meadowlands 2.0. So give me Eagles win, which would actually have them advancing now to 6-0. and going into Cincinnati against Joe. Burr. This one makes me kind of nervous. Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase might be this secondary's kryptonite. They beat Patrick Mahomes. So I don't sleep on the Bengals. They're a smart team too. Uh, they've been around good teams. So keeping in mind that this team has a good secondary, it's going to be an interesting uh, test to watch for Quinion Mitchell. Darius Slay, depending on what Vic Fangio wants to run out that day. So I'm excited to see it. Bengals fans are tough, too. They're gritty. 
I think that they're going to be a little bit in the mind of Eagles fans. Eagles fans are going to travel well. Uh, hopefully, I can try to go out to this game. I think Cincinnati would be a lot of fun. But I, I got the Eagles losing here, guys. I'm sorry. My first loss of the year, 28-25. to 25. Like I said, Cincinnati's a tough team. You can't win them all. That would have my Eagles advancing to 6-1 and one going into Week 9 hosting the Jaguars at home against former coach Doug Peterson. So here, I'm going to say this. Last time we played the Jags, it was a shitty game. Mud fest, rain, ugly game. I think it's going to be that again. I don't have a farmer's almanac. I don't claim to have one, but I have a vision in my head for some reason with that game, and I just see it being rainy. With that being said, I do think that the Eagles will win in a low-scoring game 24 to 16. I think it's going to be a defensive slaughter fest, a lot of fumbling. Trevor Lawrence has developed since the last time the Eagles have seen him. Doug Peterson has settled more into Jacksonville. So if the Eagles aren't careful, this game could slip away from them. Seriously, I didn't even have that written down on here. I swear to God, that one just came to me. I do really think that this game is going to be interesting. A lot at stake entertainment wise with Doug Peterson, too, coming back to Philly. Not his first time, but it'll be interesting to see how the fans treat him. I, if I'm there, I'll be getting up out of my seat, giving him a clap. And like I said, I don't have a farmer's almanac, but I just see a rainy game for some reason in my head. Eagles win, move along, go to travel away to Dallas. Jerry's world. 7-1. and one. I think that the Eagles will win here 34-24. to 24. Dak's going to throw three picks to his favorite receivers. Cooper DeGene, Quinion Mitchell, and Darius Slay. Maybe even Jeremiah Trotter might get in the mix and get his pick. I think that Jalen Hurts is going to show big. Jalen Hurts is going to show up big for the Eagles in this game. I think he's going to start to take over. I think he's going to kind of distribute the ball around very well this game. Get it to Goddard. Get it to A.J. Brown. Get it to Vontae Smith. And really kind of separate himself from some of the other players at this point. I guess week nine it is. I apologize if I'm wrong on that, but as one of the MVP favorites. So as the season goes on, I expect him to do that more and more. But I think going away to Dallas, a lot of people are going to be talking about this game. Eagles haven't played a real team. This, that, you guys know how it goes. I think that the Eagles will be impressive here. Commandos at home, eight and one after getting the win 34 to 24 at Dallas. This is another game. Could slip away from the Eagles if they're not patient. Dan Quinn is a great coach. But if the Eagles run the ball like I think that they will, I think it'll be a close game on Thursday night. Football, 34-29. to 29, The Eagles win against the Commanders is my prediction. One thing that makes me scared is the last time the Eagles played primetime against the Commanders in Philadelphia, I believe it was Monday night football or Thursday night football. I think it was Monday night football. I was there with Chaos Chris, my guy, and Eagles lost. Jack was there, too. It was not pretty. We went there for my birthday. This game could be not good, could be a little bit upsetting. I like that we host the Commanders at home first, but I'm a little bit scared because the Commanders are a better team than I think than people give them credit for. And if there was one team that I could see the Eagles splitting with in the NFC, it's probably the Commanders. I hate to say that for my Cowboys fans. Sorry, Cowboys beat. Sorry, Cowboys Chris. Cowboy Levi. Sorry, my Giants fans. Sneaky G-Man. NFL Colin. Mr. Jack Football. But at the end of the day, I, I really think that the Commanders, Nico, if you're watching, jump up and down. But the Commanders are grittier than people give them credit for. So Rams now. Eagles are going into this game. Or Yeah, Rams. Eagles are going into this game. Nine and one away. L.A., they're going to have a lot to prove here. The Rams are a legit team. Cooper Cup, Puka, Stafford, they're not somebody that I would sleep on at all. So I do think that they have some playmakers offensively. Defensively, I don't think that they're the same team that they were. Obviously, we all know Aaron Donald retired. So I'm going to say that the Eagles get away with this game 38-21. to I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree with this, disagree with this in the comments. I think that the Rams could be another game that gets away from us. Sean McVay is obviously a brilliant mind. The Eagles are not going to win all these games. I'm just saying on paper, going into it, how they feel. So, so far, uh, that would bring our Eagles to 10-1, and one, going away once again. 
to Baltimore on December 1st at 425 to play against the Ravens. And this is going to be my second loss for our Philadelphia Eagles. They lost to the Bengals earlier in the video, and now they're going to lose to Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, who I think are going to be at their prime at this point in the season. It's December 1st. Uh, Lamar Jackson doesn't do much in the playoffs, nor do the Ravens. Uh, well, I should take that back. When Flack Goat was there, they did, and some other players. But Lamar hasn't found it yet necessarily in the playoffs as far as getting to a Super Bowl. He came close this year, so I do think that the Eagles will lose this game. I don't think that they should be afraid if they face the Ravens in a Super Bowl. I think that they should be more afraid if they face them in the regular season, especially being away going to M&T Bank. Ravens fans are louder than you think that they are. I think that the Eagles could be sleeping with this game too, having a away game before going from probably Philadelphia down to Baltimore driving. Couldn't be good. So I'm going to take a loss here, 35 32 Eagles now advancing to 10 and two to finally get a home game and host the Panthers on oh, my girlfriend. Shout out to Alyssa's birthday, December 8th, one o'clock. I'm going to say that the Eagles win here. 34 14. We get our swagger back. AJ Brown and Devonte Smith. I think are going to have a big game and I hate the Panthers owner. That guy's a scumbag. I don't know if any of you guys know Dan, uh, I don't have I don't have his name written down. I'm going to have to look it up. But whatever the Panthers owner's name is, dude is an absolute scumbag when he threw the drink on the person. So I would love to see nothing more than the Eagles just absolutely beat the shit out of the Panthers and that guy storm out of his box seat. Like, rah, rah, rah. you guys know how it is. So Eagles then would be advancing to 11 and 2, having another home game for the Battle of Pennsylvania against the Steelers. I think that they're going to win a close game. It's going to be a mental game. This is going to be my game of the year. I like Russell Wilson as a player. So I think that for Jalen Hurts, he and Russell Wilson are going to duke it out this game. Mentally, these two guys are going to be having a chess match. And I think that their receivers are both going to be pretty good. I think we're going to see a little bit of a reincarnation visually of DK Metcalf and Russell Wilson through George Pickens and Russell Wilson. I think that the two of them are going to be a really, really good combo. So Eagles win a close game here. Russ finds his home. Jalen finds a way to duke it out. This will be kind of similar, I think, to that Bills game this year, entertainment-wise, and the Eagles will win 26-24 in Week 15, advancing to 12-2. and two. Woo! That sounds good. Week 16. At the Commanders, I'm going to take probably a loss here i think going out beating the steelers narrowly the eagles have some flaws this is going to ruin christmas they're going to have some things that they need to go back and work on eagles lose two commanders 31 21 and advance to 12 and 3 in my prediction it's also a one o'clock game uh, i think that the eagles could be you know just sleeping they're going to probably drive to this game I'm not liking it. So, like I said, if I had to take any team to split in the NFC, it's going to be the Commanders. After that, it would obviously be the Cowboys. I'm going to say that the Eagles, though, at home win. They get their shit together. They give Eagles fans a great after-Christmas present, pre-New Year, go into the New Year with a bang gift uh, at 425. They're going in this game 12-3. and They come out winning 41-32. Dak Prescott and Jalen Hurts, I do think, will both play pretty well. Dak seems to show up when he's away for the Cowboys, which has been interesting. But I think that Saquon Barkley is going to take over this game for our Philadelphia Eagles and really show us what we want. And then last but not least, our Eagles at a 13-3 and record, in my opinion. New York Giants to be determined. We don't really have a date on that yet. Doesn't surprise me. I'm going to say this is a probable loss. I think that we should be resting our starters if all goes well. So Eagles will end up on the season, I would say, 13-4. and four. If not 14-3, and three, maybe 12-5 and five at worst. I don't think that they will. I think that one of these games that I said that they'll lose, they'll win, they'll surprise us, and then vice versa. One of the games I said that they'll win, they'll lose. So honestly, I think 13-4 and four is a pretty good record prediction for the Eagles. That's my expectation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, video suggestions, 
It's a long off season for sure, but I appreciate the heck out of you guys who are subscribing. It really means the world. My subscribers I've just been seeing have been going up and up and up. So if you like this video, drop a like, share it with a friend, all those great things. Follow us on TikTok too, Instagram, all those great things at 302 birds. I'm going to stop babbling. As always, God bless. Go birds. Cuck -cuck!